Hey everyone, this is Billy Hayden from Team Associated. I am the design engineer behind the B84. Today I'm going to show you how to properly install your sway bar. So the first thing to do is add some thread lock to your set screws. If you don't add thread lock, there's a chance your screw is going to come undone and your sway bar will fall off. Just a little drop will go a long way. We're going to do this to the pivot ball and the collars. The next thing I like to do is pre-install the collars. And just kind of set these loose, but keep them in place. You want to have enough room to be able to slide this onto the gearbox. So keeping these loose is fine. Next thing will be installing your pivot balls. Now it's important to note on the B84 if your arms are forward or back, it's going to determine the orientation of the pivot ball in the car. So for example, I'm putting these on a carpet car. The pivot ball is going to be towards the back. Now I like to pre-install the anti-roll bar link. Makes it a little easier for final assembly. It's kind of important at this step too to note your orientation of the set screws so that you can actually get to it when it's installed on the car. Okay, so the next thing is going to be installing it on the car. So I'll start, like I said, with these loose. Slide everything in underneath the dog bones. And just get everything in the position. Once again, we'll kind of note the orientation of these set screws. I'll use the bend of the sway bar to kind of determine how centered I am left to right. You're going to want to leave a little bit of side to side play here, otherwise the bar will bind up. It's probably on the tighter side, but it should work. So for the anti-roll bar pivots here, I left them a little loose because you might need to adjust how much bar is exposed depending on where your arms are sitting with your shims. Circle back to the way the pivot is mounted, the orientation of it, whether your arms are forward or back. So when it's back, you want it in this orientation. If they're forward and center, you're going to want the collar on the back side of this link. So, and we're just going to put these down in place in front of the ball. <laughs> it's honestly easier from the bottom. I'm going to flip it over. So once those are on the ball, you're going to want to adjust your bars so that they're even. The important thing is, and what we're trying to achieve here, is you want this link to be perpendicular with the arm, so straight up and down with the arm. So if you adjust your the amount of exposed bar based off of that, that'll give you the most range of motion without the bar binding up. Need to see. So 
So you'll see if you set your amount of uh, exposed bar here, just based on keeping the link perpendicular, if your bar is centered, you should have an equal amount of exposed bar. Last thing you're going to want to do is make sure everything is nice and free. It should move up and down without any issues. And a more advanced thing is you can check the, the tweak of the bar just by picking up on it, seeing how much that side drops, see how much this side drops. Kind of gives you an idea if your bar is centered. And that is how you install a sway bar on a B84. This can also apply to the B7. Thank you.